Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. All right, if you're already feeling nostalgic, maybe for the 70s, hang in. They're not, not the 1970s. That's a whole different era, a whole different thing, right? I'm talking temperatures in the 70s. Look how close we will get by the end of the work week. One more cool day today. Then look at our trend heading into the weekend. We'll hit mid 60s, 70 by Monday. Look at next Tuesday. Should we just bask in that for a second? 74 degrees possible by early next week. But today we have a cool, very brisk day on our hands. This morning is starting off cold. Most of you are uh, uh, down near the freezing mark as far as your temperatures. And then we will get breezy. So now no advisories in place for the Treasure Valley or most of the Magic Valley today. But still we could see some winds pop up, especially from Boise eastward into Mountain Home of 20 to 30 miles per hour. We do expect much more significant wind gusts in eastern Idaho until 9 o'clock tonight. So there is a wind advisory in place for areas like Pocatello because of some 50 mile per hour gusts that could set in uh, throughout the day today. Now we have some moisture moving by to our north. This northwesterly flow could bring some showers to our mountain locations here before too long. An inch or so could pile up if the showers come to fruition. At this point, we're starting off dry across most of southwest and southern Idaho. Eastern Idaho picking up a little bit of snow right now, but those clearing skies have allowed temperatures to drop down into the 30s. Now tomorrow we'll see some cloud cover start to move in. That'll get mostly cloudy skies by Thursday, but also we'll have some mild weather really start to build in in the coming days. It is going to be lovely by the end of the work week. So here's the cold air for today. It'll slide off to the east over the next couple of days. By Thursday, we'll see some precipitation around, but likely most of it will stay to our north and to our south. So we'll kind of be sandwiched in between. So a cloudy day Thursday, a slight chance of a shower. Then look at this. Here comes a nice warm weather. We get rid of the purple color on this future cast. That's good news. That means we have mild conditions setting in and that sticks around as we saw on our future cast all the way through next Tuesday. So temperatures really get beautiful in the coming days. Not much will be beautiful about today except maybe some sunshine later this afternoon, but a breezy cool day setting in for most of us. Temperatures will run in the low to mid 50s. Ontario 57 today, 53 in Boise, 54 the expected high for CUNA with that mix of sun and some clouds. 46 and breezy up in Idaho City, so a chilly day up in the mountains. We'll see the upper 30s to right around 40 from McCall, Donnelly and Cascade with some snow showers possible off and on. If the precipitation lingers into the afternoon, it'll likely be a rain snow mix or just a couple of rain showers. Fairfield, you will be cold today. 43 with a very brisk wind throughout the day. 40 and breezy up in the Wood River Valley. So about 41 degrees expected in Sun Valley. Partly cloudy, but very windy in Twin Falls. 47 is all we'll see for that high temperature. So we're starting off with a wind chill of 18 in Twin Falls this morning. It'll feel like you're just running in mostly the 30s all day long. So it is going to be a very, very brisk spring day across the Magic Valley especially, but expect that breeze to pop up pretty much everywhere from the Treasure to the Magic Valleys today. Another cold start tomorrow morning as skies will clear up later in the day today, but then our temperatures jump by almost 10 degrees tomorrow. We stay in the low 60s with those cloudy conditions on Thursday, and then look at the beautiful weekend we have ahead of us, pushing 70 with sunshine on Friday. A few clouds will drift through over the weekend, but we still stay nice and mild with temperatures jumping back to the 70s by early next week.